You want to be an attractive woman? Of course you do. Why? So you can attract an attractive, high quality guy. But being attractive isn't only in your appearance. Yeah, of course, it's the first step. It's the first thing of making you attractive. But there's so much more than just your appearance that makes you attractive as a whole person, but how you are around the person that you're interested in. So what behaviors demonstrate you to be an attractive woman? Well, that's exactly what we're gonna get into today. Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Kit, your personal dating coach. And in today's video, I'm gonna go through five things the most attractive women do on a date. And I always love hearing from you guys, so come find me on Instagram, drop me a message, and let me know, do you already do any of these five things? Cool, now let's get into the video. So the first thing that the most attractive women do on a date is to give compliments. Just give me a compliment. It's that simple. You know, you can give a few throughout the course of the evening. Guys aren't used to getting compliments often. And if this is a desirable guy, obviously to some extent, because you know, you like him, then a lot of the time people will take the approach, a lot of women will take the approach of, well, I'm not gonna give him a compliment because that's just gonna inflate his ego. Where all a compliment actually does is A, just let him know that you're interested because most of the time guys are trying to figure out whether you like them or not. And B, it just lets him know that this isn't an ego battle for you both. This isn't about who wants more who or who's more desirable than who or who's more attractive. All you're doing is saying, hey, I'm into you and I'm not afraid to show you that. And because most women don't do this, you just giving a few compliments compliments throughout the course of the evening, that's gonna make him think, wow, I really like this woman because she makes me feel good. That's gonna make you more attractive to him. The second thing that the most attractive women do is they initiate contact. A hand on a hand, a hand on the leg, a hand on the shoulder, whatever it is. A lot of the time when you're around a guy that you really like, initiating contact is a really good thing to do, especially if you're around other women. It's almost like marking your territory. But when you're on a date, when it's one-to-one, -one, initiating contact that's direct, so like, I don't know, maybe he tells a funny story and you laugh and you put your hand on his hand on the table, he's gonna clock that. All you're doing is signaling to him that you like him and it's okay for him to make a first move on you. That it's okay for him to take the next step. So ladies, if you're the guy and he still hasn't made a move on you, initiating contact is a good way to give him that approval to do so. Don't be afraid to get in close, you know? Have a bit of skin on skin, touch here, a touch there. He's gonna be like, Oh wow, I like having her close, so maybe I can do other things as well. The third thing that the most attractive women do on a date, and this is my favorite, is they keep it light. As in, keep the conversation light. Not keeping it shallow, keeping it light. Shallow is talking about very superficial things, whereas keeping it light is talking about things where there's no pressure. Because look, don't get me wrong, it's sometimes great when we can get into deep conversations with someone, especially if the conversation naturally goes that way. But if he asks you, okay, so what do you like to do in your spare time for fun? And you know, you answer and you chat about it. If your next question to him is, so when do you want to get married? Whoa, 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 whoa. That's too much. You're coming in way too hot. Keep it light, keep it curious, keep it playful, keep it fun. A date is about having fun, enjoying the experience. Now that's not to say that you can't ask important questions, but how you ask those questions makes all the difference. A lot of the time when we ask an important question, it's because we're looking for a specific answer. We're wanting a specific answer from the other person. Whereas if you come from a place of, okay, I'm asking this question, but I'm very accepting of whatever the answer is, that's gonna alleviate the majority of the pressure because you'll naturally ask the question in a less confrontational way. And remember ladies, you are the masters of communicating indirectly. Sometimes it doesn't work to your favor, but this is one of the times when it definitely does. So let's use the marriage example. You wanna know if or when he would like to get married in his life. You don't ask him directly. That's way too loaded and it's way too much pressure. You ask it indirectly like this. So ideally, what would you like your life to look like in five years? It's an open question, but it has direction. If marriage is something that he's wanting, he's gonna say it then. And if he does mention, you know, having a wife and maybe a house and maybe thinking about starting to have kids, then you can say, well, play your cards right, and maybe I can help you make that happen. Ooh, 
Ooh, that's, that's saucy. It's okay, you can take that. You're welcome. The next thing that the most attractive women do on dates is to be friendly to others around you. Be friendly to the waitress or the waiter. Be friendly to the doorman. Be friendly to somebody like another customer. Be friendly to any other members of the public. Even be friendly to the guy who maybe just walked in front of you, okay? Whatever it is, be friendly to others around you. When we're on a date with someone, we're not just assessing how they are with us, but we are also assessing how they are with other people. Especially when it's towards a person who maybe has done a mistake at your expense. So like for example, if the waiter brought you the wrong food, right? He got your order wrong. You being all nice and kind and great to the guy that you're with, but then completely flippling out unnecessarily so and being overly aggressive to the waiter who made a mistake, that's gonna put him off completely. By doing this, what you're communicating to the guy that you're with is that unless you are happy 24 seven, it is gonna be absolute hell for him. And no relationship is happy all the time. Every relationship has its ups and downs. And when you do have those downs, it's up to both of you and your partner to come together to find a way to bring it back up. Because all he's gonna be thinking is, raw. I have to walk around eggshells with this girl. Just be friendly to others around you. There is a way to handle things without being negative. The next thing that the most attractive women do is they show up on time. Oh my goodness, it is it is honestly ridiculous at how common it is that people are late for a date. And I'm gonna be honest ladies, some of y'all are late on dates. When you've arranged a time to meet someone and you're late, getting there. If a guy who is worth a damn and respects himself and his time, all you're communicating to him is that you don't respect his time. That it just wasn't a priority for you to be there on time. And especially if this is the first date, this just sets you off on the wrong foot. Now, don't get me wrong, sometimes things happen and you may be a bit late. You know, the bus was delayed, your train was cancelled, it happens. But if you are running late, just drop him a text. Drop him a text of, Hey, boss was canceled. I'm gonna be an extra 15 minutes. Hope that's okay. It's a courtesy thing. Just keep him in the loop. But all I'm saying is that the most attractive women are always on time because they make it a priority to be there on time with the chosen man that they're interested in because they wanna show that she's reliable. If you're looking for a guy who sparks up your love life, make sure you subscribe to this wonderful try. And as always, keep it slick. How?